Alright guys, we're working on a minuet in G by Bach. It's probably the most famous minuet. Sounds like this. And so forth. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek and welcome to my SeanCheek.com videos. I put the free part one here on YouTube and the rest of the lessons for this song can be found on my website at SeanCheek.com. Oh, it's actually not a song, it's a piece, right? There's no singing, so. But <clears throat> uh, you can find it on my website along with many other lessons. Um, if you find any of this difficult that you don't understand, that you have trouble reading music, you need to try my boot camp sight reading lessons, which are also on SeanCheek.com, which will just give you a basic foundation of how to read music, and then this will be much easier if you're having trouble. Alright, so let's get started. We are in the key of G. We have an F sharp in the key signature, as you can see there, and that means all Fs will be sharp. Anytime we have the letter F, we're going to sharpen. So here's an F note. If we were to have this note, we would sharpen it, playing F, the black key, immediately to the right instead of the white key for F sharp, okay? So we run into F sharp, that's what we're going to do. We have three, four in the time signature, that, so that tells us three counts per measure. One, two, three, one, two, three. We're going to be counting to three. All right, the bottom number is a four, it tells us the quarter note gets the beat. Um, so we start off with a D note, okay, in the right hand. Let's look at a hand separately first, is what I kind of like to do, one measure at a time. <clears throat> we start with a D on the fourth line there in the right hand, and it's right here, okay. Here's middle C, so we're up on this D with our fifth finger, okay. See the five up there that tells us to use our fifth finger? Then we're going to go down to a G note on the thumb, <clears throat> okay, that's finger one. And then we go up to an A, and then a B and then a C, and then a D. And then we're back down to a G, then one more G. All right, so the notes are D, G, A, B, C, D, G, G. Now, as far as the rhythm goes, <clears throat> we're counting one count on this note, and then these are eighth notes, so they get half a count a piece, so it's count two, and <clears throat> three, and one, two. So we have one, two, and three, and one, two, three. One, two, and three, and one, two, three. Okay, so we'll take those two measures. Let's take a little chunk. That's two measures. That's a good little chunk. Now, <clears throat> let's look at the left hand. We have a chord because we see that it goes space, space, I mean, yeah, space, 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 stacked on top of each other. So we know it's a triad root position chord. The bottom note is a G, so I could just know that that's a G right here below middle C, and then make a chord, G, B, and D. The chord has to have three notes at least, so that's our chord. So the other two notes are B and D. Alright, if you don't know that, uh, you need to check your flashcards and, and stuff, exercises that you have in the boot camp series. Alright, so that's G, B, D, and then we're just going to have an A note right here. Okay, so G chord, and then an A note for left hand, so there's our A, then we move up a little more to a B note, okay, so we have those three, so chord, A, B, now we don't really have to pay attention too much on the counting because the right hand is going to count it for us, as long as we line everything up, look where it lines up, okay, I like to draw these little lines, and do that on your music too, um, after you download and print out the sheet music for this, draw little lines when the hands play together. It's okay to do that. Okay, so let's try these first two measures, both hands. So we play hands together there, and then right, right, and then together, and then right, and then together, right, right. So we have one, two, and three, and one, two, three. All right, let's move on to the next two measures. So starting here, we have what note here on the right hand? We start with an E. But watch out for this note right here, because it's an F. What we're going to do to the F, we're going to sharp it because the key signature here tells us all Fs are sharp. So we're going to sharp it because of the key signature. All right, so we start on an E. 
with, they put a four there, but I like to do my middle finger. So fingerings are subjective. You don't have to use the fingering that's up here. They're a good idea sometimes, but feel free to use your own if you have something better. So E, then we're going to go down to a C note, and then up to a D, and then an E, and then the F sharp on my fourth finger, and then fifth finger on the high G there. That's a high G over there. And then we have two low G's left. Okay, so starting right here, we have E, C, D, E, F sharp, G, G, G. Okay, now let's look at the left hand. C, and then a B note there. Okay, so middle C, B. Okay. And then we look where we put hands together, so we'll do this. Put a vertical line between them. Now let's try these two measures. One and two and three and one, two, three. So we have four measures. Let's try all four measures. Okay, you ready? Ready, go. One, two, and three, and one, two, three. One, two, and three, and one, two, three. Now let's try to finish up uh, at least this section here. All right. So. We go to the next line. We start off with a C note on the right hand. Okay, so C. I'm going to use my fourth finger. It's the way I've played it since I was a little kid. Um, even though they have a three. Finger numbers are just suggestions. C, D, C, B, A, B, C, B, A, G. Okay, so bum, 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 bum. Little sequence, and that can be played in that G five finger position, that G position we call it. Okay, <clears throat> so that's the right hand on that part. On the left hand, we'll have an A note, and then in the top space of the bass clef, a G. A G. Now you do count to three because it's a dotted half note, right? Uh, but you don't really have to think about that because the right hand is counting it for you. Okay, so we'll just put our vertical lines there, and we'll play together there, one, two, and three, and, and then together here, one, and two, and three, and let's do that again, one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and, so we consistently have that rhythm, bum, ba, 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 one, two, and three, and, so notice that. Now, let's get to the last two measures here. This is an F note, so what are we going to do to it? Because of the key signature, F sharp, we're going to sharp it, okay? So let's put an F sharp on that, and uh, then we'll go to a G. So F sharp, G. Now here's a place, when you've done your fingering, ba, 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 you can cross over with this finger to get that F sharp. Okay, so get that F sharp. And come back to G, A, B, G. So F sharp, G, A, B, G. All right, so get that crossover. And then we have two notes left. B, A, bum, ba, 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 B, A. Now, on the, on the left hand, let's look at that. We have a D note here, okay? Now, I want you to look at it. Uh, it's three notes, okay? You should know the notes individually. D, and then a B, and then a G in the middle of the piano. But, also notice that it's a chord. It's a broken chord. Remember this when we played this, G, B, D? It's the same thing, it's just broken up. D, B, G, going from top to bottom. It's a descending broken G chord. So notice that. And then uh, E, B, G, we have a D here, of course, and then a low, lower D. Okay, so D, D down there, and then middle C, B, A. So the left hand has quite a bit more to do in this area right there. So let's play the left hand starting there. One, two, three. One, two, and three, and. Okay, so you might have to work on that a little bit on your left hand. And don't worry about it if you have to pause, 
when you're playing this, everybody has to do that when they're first learning a piece. So those pauses will disappear as you play it correctly over and over and over again, okay? Now, so play hands together there, together, right, together, right, and then together there, then together, left, 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 bump, bump, bump. Let's do it again with a little rhythm this time. And go. problems or anything you don't understand, it's all covered in my boot camp sight reading course that gets you ready uh, to, uh, to play, the, to, to read notes. So check that out on SeanCheek.com. Hope you guys enjoy it. See you on the website.